First look at ASUS launcher running on a rooted Android 10 and above device. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at ASUS launcher running on your rooted Android 10 or above device now i do have my redmi k20 pro and right now it is running a custom rom which is based on android 11 and if we go into settings apps and notification and then if you go into default apps you will see my default home application is asus launcher now what is so special about this launcher well what i found interesting was almost everything is working except for icon pack support and it comes with app lock and app hide out of the box working without any issues so let us press and hold on the home screen and for starters first it is going to wallpapers so of course you can apply custom wallpapers then if you go into widgets you do have a bunch of widgets available as well and of course widgets might depend on your custom rom as well next if you go into edit home screen you can change the scroll effects so what are these scroll effects let us say i swipe between the different home screens you see this is the scroll effect they are talking about so let us change this to something else scroll effects right now it is set as let me see fan let us say change this to flip and of course you also have a toggle to show the google feed so now here is your flip effect working like a boss without any issues and if i swipe here i can of course access my google feed as well now of course right now i am not logged into my google account on this device then you can also change the icon label color right now it is set as red let us change this to say green and that's it the icon label color changed without any issues and similarly you can also set a folder theme as well and here are the different options which you have for that next up if you go into preferences you can customize the home screen so in case you do not want the application draw style you want only one home screen with all the applications you have a toggle for that then you can also change the grid size so you have different options 4x4 4 4x5 4, 4 5, 5x5 5 5 and 5x6 5 then app icon badges are also there of course you do need to give it notification access then in case you want a continuous home screen you have a toggle for that as well swipe down what do you want to do with swipe down open notification panel or enter app search let us try it out bam there it is working like a boss notification panel in the building then you can also lock the home screen you have a toggle to add app icons to the home screen for new applications go back here it is app lock now an important thing to note here is that this requires you to set up either a pen or a pattern you cannot use your existing pen or say your fingerprint that is a limitation so let us choose a pin one two three four and then enable this toggle and lock any application which you want to so each of these applications has a lock icon beside it and let us say messages right now is unlocked tap on it there it is the background color of the lock changed to yellow and now if i try to access the messages application there it is it is locked i of course have to enter my pin to access it and even though the application right now is in the recents it is still locked let us try entering a wrong pin there it is wrong pin entered so app lock works without any issues let us try to hide an application so let me say i want to hide the messages app and that's it messages app is hidden as you can see it just disappeared from my home screen as well and let me unhide it and let's see if it comes back no it did not come back here in the bottom bar but yes it is available here and it is still locked so a pretty nifty launcher let us also check out the app opening animations so as you can see no issues in that regard recents bam here it is this is how the recents look like you have a clear all button at the bottom 
and I mean, to be very honest, a launcher such as Asus launcher with app lock baked in, app hide baked in, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Now I know the next thing you're gonna ask me, hey Manchi, how do you install this? So let us get down to the installation part now. So here it is, the installation part. As you can see, I am running Dirty Unicorns based on Android 11 on my Redmi K20 Pro right now. Let us first go into settings, apps and notifications, go into default apps. You will see my home launcher right now as Pixel Launcher. What is the prerequisite? Well, you need to be rooted using Magisk. Need to have Magisk Manager installed. Magisk version which you need should be above Magisk version 20.03 or above. As you can see, I have Magisk version 22.0 and the app version of Magisk which I have is also 22.0. Next thing, let us go to the modules page and make sure you have removed any module which is related to Quick Step because if that module is installed and active it is going to cause issues so again make sure you remove any module related to quick step launcher next thing all the files which we are using in this video are linked in the description we will select install from storage now those of you who are running android 10 devices you will have to tap on the three dot menu on the top right and you will see something called show internal storage if you get the option as hide internal storage then you need not do anything if the option is show internal storage tap on it then three bar menu on the top left and select your devices name and next thing go into the folder where you have downloaded the asus launcher magisk module in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder for me i have transferred it manually so it is in the root directory all you need to do is select the file wait for magisk to do its thing and then reboot the device now in case you run into any boot loops once you install the magisk module we do have a separate video showing you how to fix a boot loop caused by a magisk module and those videos can be found in the description and in the pinned comment on this video back into android we can unlock our device and as you can see everything was reset so let us go into settings apps and notification default apps and bam here it is home launcher is set as asus launcher and you can of course customize it add your icons all those things everything is working absolutely fine and there it is peeps that was our first look and install video of asus launcher on any android 10 or above device and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you